what did you do with your voice? Do you put something on your voice or uh, cause no, it doesn't no nothing. They asked that about Rocket Raccoon too. I took major offense to that. Then I got to tell you something. I am a hundred percent convinced that they deepen your voice somehow. Wow. Let because me tell you how it's gonna be. Every time. That's it, isn't that it? Yeah. Every time I watch Rocket Raccoon, I can't wrap my head around the fact that that's you. Yeah. No. We. I mean, unless unless they're lying to me. They've not uh, augmented it at all. How much prep time do you do with doing the voice of Rock Raccoon? No, no prep. I just go in there and um, start. Really? Yeah. They de- they describe the scene to you? You've read the script? Oh, no, a I've, re- of- I've read the script. I go in there. The first time we do it, we do it over the course of like a year. Um, the first time, we, you know, we learned it's been a 10-year, I think it's been a decade-long process from the first to this. And by the end, James Gunn and I realized the best thing is we do it like a play. Instead of watching anything, he he reads all the other characters and I play Rocket. And that's how we do it the first round. And it's really wonderful. And then and then 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 as the, and then after that all gets laid in, then we just you just keep honing it or working on other things or improvising. Um, it's very it's a it's fun to improvise off of characters who've already said something that they can't change. Wow. <laughs> so that Rocket can really have a field day. Uh, you like doing it kind of fun oh i loved it i loved rocket i have absolutely and and this last one i don't know if you saw it but i did I, I actually cried like crazy watching it and when we did it there's a scene where um he loses his friend and the sound that rocket makes the only thing that i could even relate it to is the sound i remember hearing my own voice when my dad passed away you know that you hear like there's something that you hear it and i remember when we did it in the sound stage i think everybody was sort of like there was some deep truth to the sound that came out of my mouth. And I think that's part of why that's a, you know, I don't know that it really, that moment in that movie is kind of like, holy shit. 